The five learning outcomes, LOS, LOS, below are designed to help improve you. Ooh, no, 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 no. <laughs> the five learning outcomes, LOS, below are designed to help improve your understanding of this chapter. After reading this chapter, you should be able to L O one define the terms politics, government, order, liberty, authority, and legitimacy. L O two distinguish the major features of direct democracy and representative democracy. L O three describe majoritism. Elite theory of oh excuse me and pluralism pluralism as theories of how democratic system work just the democratic republic one L O four summarize the conflicts that can occur between the values of liberty and order. And between those of liberty and equality, L O five, discuss conservatism, liberalism, and other popular American ideological positions. Check your understanding of the material with a test yourself section at the end of the chapter. Politics, for many people, is the great game. And it is played for high stakes. After all, the game involves vast sums and the very security of the nation. In the last few years, the stakes have grown higher still. In 2014, the Republican Party won control of the U.S. Senate and did well in state-level contests. The Republicans who retained Control of the U.S. House of Representatives, giving them complete control of Congress in 2015 and 2016. With Barack Obama as president, however, the Democrats still held the presidency. Would the two major parties be able to agree on any kind of legislation, or would deadlock and brinksmanship result? Meanwhile, the 2016 presidential elections loomed in the future, and unpredictable consequences. This is the book that I'm reading: American Government and Politics Today, Brief Edition. And there you go. Okay, page two. Politics in general in government. L O one define the terms politics, government, order, liberty, authority, and legitimacy. What is politics? Poli politics can be understood as the process of resolving conflicts and deciding, as political scientist Harold Laswell put it in his classic definition. Who gets what, when, and how? More specifically, politics is a struggle over power and influence within organizations and informal groups that can grant or withhold benefits or privileges. We can identify many such groups and organizations. In families, all members may meet to decide on values. Priorities and actions in every community that makes decisions through formal or informal rules. Politics exists. For example, when a church decides to construct a new building or hire a new minister, the decision is made politically. Politics can be found in schools, social groups, and any other organized co collection. Of individuals, 
of all the organizations that are controlled by political activity. However, the most important is the government. What is the government? Certainly, it is an institution that is ongoing organization that performs certain functions for society and that has a life separate from the lives of, of the individuals who are part of it at any given time, moment in time. The government can be defined as an institution within which decisions are made are made where am I? Hmm. that to resolve conflicts and all allocate benefits and privileges. The government is also the preeminent institution within society because it has an ultimate authority for making these decisions. Why is government necessary? Perhaps the best way to assess the need for government is to examine circumstances in which government as we are normally understand it does not exist. What happens when multiple groups compete for one another for power within a society? There are places around the world where such circumstances exist. A current example is the Middle Eastern nation of Syria, run by the dictator Bashar al-Assad. In 2011, peaceful protesters were killed. Ooh. Not very good. Which led to an armed rebellion. The governor lost control of much of the country and its forces repeatedly massacred civilians in contested areas. Some rebels were extreme Islamists and others were more moderate. By 2013, rebels were fighting each other as well as the government in such of Syria. Law and order had broken down completely. By 2015, at least 200,000 people had been killed. And almost half of the country's people had been driven from their homes. As the example of Syria shows, one of the original purposes of government is the maintenance of security or order. By keeping the peace and government protects its people from violence at the hands of private or foreign armies and criminals. If order is not present, it is not possible for the government to provide any of other benefits that people expect from it. Order is a political value to which we can return later in this chapter. Limiting government power. A complete collapse of order and dis security, as seen in Syria, actually is an uncommon event. Much more common is the reverse. Too much government control is January 2015. The human rights organization Freedom House judged that 51 of the world's countries were not free. These nations contain 36% of the world's population. Such countries may be controlled by individual king or dictators. Saudi Arabia's king, Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saad, and North Korea's Kim Jong un are obvious examples. Alternatively, a political party such as the Communist Party of China may monopolize all the levels of power. The military may rule as in Thailand since 2014. In all of these examples, the individual or group running the country cannot be removed by legal means. Thank you. That was page three up above.